Hello everyone, I am Sarfraz from mobilesmspk.net and today I am going to review Qmobile Noir J7. So let's get started. I have already made unboxing video of Qmobile Noir J7 and recommending you to watch that video as well. Qmobile Noir J7 is latest phone from Qmobile which has 5.5 inch HD IPS display with 720p resolution. Phone has 13 megapixel back and 5 megapixel front camera and powered by 2.2 GHz octa-core processor and 3 GB of RAM. This phone is actually made by Gioni which is a Chinese company and the model name is Gioni P7 Max. Let's start with call quality of the phone. Call quality is very good. Voices are crisp and clear on both ends. I have not faced any distortion during my test. Let me give you physical overview of the phone. On front, there is 5 megapixel camera along with sensors and notification LED, 5.5 inch HD IPS screen and navigational buttons below the screen. This is how notification LED looks. On top of the phone, there is 3.5mm headphone jack, volume rockers and power button on the right, micro USB port and microphone on the bottom. Nothing on the left side of the phone. On the back, there is 13 megapixel camera along with LED flash and speaker grill at the bottom. Back cover is look like Samsung Galaxy S7 and Huawei Honor 8, but it is made of plastic and fingerprint magnet. There are dedicated navigational buttons but they do not light up so you might face problem to use them in dark. Build quality of the phone is very good. Phone feels solid and sturdy. Even though it is made of plastic but phone does not feel cheap. Phone attracts fingerprints easily so I suggest you to use silicone case available in the box. Despite being made of plastic phone is even heavier than Z14. Let me show you the weight of the phone. Phone has 32 GB of internal storage from which around 24 GB is available out of the box. You can always expand internal storage through micro SD card slot. Phone supports up to 128 GB card. Phone comes with 3 GB of RAM from which 2 GB is available on first boot. Phone has dedicated dual SIM slots and separate micro SD card slot, so you can use both SIMs and micro SD cards simultaneously. Phone supports 4G LTE and up to 128GB micro SD card. Sound is loud and clear, but not as louder as Z14. I don't prefer speakers on the back of the phone as it can be easily muffled when you put your phone on the desk. Let me show you how loud the speaker is and how it sounds when you put it on the desk. Phone has 5.5 inch HD IPS display with 720p resolution. Display looks bright and sharp, colors look vivid and saturation is good. Viewing angles are impressive of the phone. Even though it is not a full HD display, but you won't notice any pixel on the phones. Sunlight visibility is acceptable, you can use this phone outside without any problem. You need to crank up the brightness to full to use it at outdoors. There is theme park app installed on the phone which provides additional themes and this is how they looks.
collection of wallpapers is also available on theme park app. There is animated clock widget as well which animates when you touch on that. And if you don't like themes available on theme park app then you can create custom themes on chameleon app. J7 is powered by 2.2 GHz octa-core processor with MediaTek MT6595 chipset. Even though phone has processor with clock speed of 2.2 GHz, but CPU-Z is only showing 1.7 GHz. Phone has 3 GB of RAM and power VR G6200 GPU. Phone has accelerometer, proximity, light and magnetic sensors. Let me show you the benchmark scores. Here is N22 score and here is Geekbench single and multi-core scores. Both N22 and Geekbench scores on J7 are better than Z14. So it is looking like J7 is more powerful than Z14. I will do a comparison video of both phones. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do it now, so you will get alert when that video will be available. Day to day performance of the phone is very fast and I have not noticed any lags or hiccups. Phone supports up to 5 finger touch. Phone does support OTG and you can run media files directly from external pen drive. Phone runs on Android 6.0 Marshmallow and Amigo 3.2 UI. This UI comes with only Geony phones, so whenever you see this UI, you can guess that phone must be made by Geony. Amigo UI is inspired by iOS, and just like iOS, notification slider is located at the top. And to access quick toggle slider, you need to slide up from the bottom. There's a fake call option available on the phone which mimics like a real call and you will get a fake call after 15 seconds. If you want to take a screenshot of long screen then you can do so by using super screenshot option. This is how you can do that. If you are running out of battery and don't have facility to charge the phone, then you can switch your phone to extreme power saving mode. On this mode, you can only perform basic tasks on the phone, but on the other hand, your phone battery can survive for several more hours. Let's take a look at some additional features available in the advanced setting menu. There are number of gestures available on the phone. Let me show you a couple of them. As name suggests, you can wake up the phone by double tapping on the screen. Here is the black screen gestures, from which you can open certain apps by drawing symbols on the screen when phone is on sleeping mode. You can also assign apps to some of the available symbols. Phone has a quick button feature and when you enable it, a floating mobile button will appear on the screen which has number of useful shortcuts available. Like you can shrink down the screen size to easily use it from one hand. You can hide this button by long pressing on it. There is an option available to set schedule time to power off or on the phone automatically. 
This feature is useful if you want to power off the phone at night hours while sleeping. Mobile phones usually comes with numbers of blood pairs and this phone is not exception. Some useful apps are pre-installed on the phone like file manager, system manager, facebook, whatsapp, theme park and chameleon. There is a game load folder which contains 4 games and these games cannot be deleted and because these are only trial versions so you cannot play them either but you can disable them. Phone is powered by 3100 mAh user replaceable battery. Battery timing on Qmobile Nord J7 is very good. I get around 5 hours of screen on time with maximum brightness during my testing. So it is quite possible you might get better battery time. It takes around 2 hours to charge the phone. Phone comes with 13 megapixel back and 5 megapixel front camera. Quality of back camera is excellent and interface is very intuitive. There are number of modes available on the phone. You can pause this video to watch them all. Front flash is missing on the phone but you can use skin flash to take selfies in dark environments. Phone can capture up to 1080p videos. Let me show you shutter speed and image quality of the phone. Here is the picture quality of 13 megapixel back camera. You can notice that all the details of the picture are clear when you zoom it. Here is the picture quality of 5 megapixel front camera. Details are not clear when you zoom the photo and showing graininess. This phone is expensive. That was my initial reaction when I first saw the price of the phone. But after testing it and knowing that Entry 2 and Geekpage scores are better than Z14, I think price of the phone is justifiable. Qmobile is getting better and better and bringing good phones in the market which making our life difficult to decide which phone to buy. Z12, Z12 Pro and Z14s are direct competitor of this phone. Phone has good build quality, vibrant screen, excellent back camera, Powerful hardware, user replaceable battery, and dedicated SIM card and micro SD card slots. There are few drawbacks like fingerprint sensor is missing, average front camera, and back cover is fingerprint magnet. But they are not deal breaker, I guess. Do I recommend this phone? Yes, I will. But does this phone is suitable for you? It depends on your usage of the phone. So that was the review of Qmobile Nord J7. Gaming review of Qmobile J7 will be coming soon on this channel, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you have any questions, feedbacks or suggestions, do let me know in the comment section below. For more information, please do visit my website.